Speaking of which, chapter seven: securing our borders and fixing our broken immigration system. I mean, honestly, Kira, do you want like a like a just like one stream of like just you and I conversing for like the entire time? But yeah, chapter seven: securing our borders and fixing our broken immigration system. Since our founding, founding, people were already here onto our island. But let's continue. Immigrants have traveled to America to pursue freedoms of uh, an opportunity to flee your oppression. Then we then like oppress so many indigenous people by like genocide and slaughter and stealing their lands. But like, okay. Um, and to reunite my family members in turn have like made our country like stronger. President Biden has led to, with conviction that we must secure our borders and fix a broken immigration system decades in the making. Uh, it's... Why do we need secure borders? Can I just ask that? The ever present, yes, the ever present American dream it is a dream because the only time it's the 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 American dream is real is when you're asleep. Um, because honestly, with the immigration, they just like want white people. They will say the best and the brightest, but they just want white people. They don't want people that like, come here because they're fleeing oppression or freeing a uh, horribleness too. And yet, all the people that are at the border trying to get into like uh, the country right now, one thing, they're seeking asylum, and seek asylum, the, which is perfectly legal. And the United States agreed to this treaty with the UN or whatever government body that like the creed as well too. But we agreed to accept silence because long ago, and it's perfectly legal to do so. And guess what? The the very first step to ever do if you're seeking asylum is come to the place you're seeking asylum to. If you want to seek asylum in the United States of America, come to the United States of America. And guess what? We turn away people at the border because of doing that, too. Hey, Alan McDonald, it's very sad that, like, right wing regular about immigration is basically standard policy for most mainstream political parties in the West at the moment. Dangerous times. Yeah, exactly, Alan McDonald. And I agree. And it makes sense what Robert Evanson said on, like, it can happen here about the reason why the Democrats are also so hard on the border on like immigration as well too. Hope you doing all no wild geek. I can catch bits and pieces of the stream today. Yeah. Um I'm doing well for the most part. I'm going to be like reading the like chapter seven of this document on securing our borders and fixing the broken immigration system from the Democrats. And this is what's always the most frustrating for me as a leftist. Uh so, uh, something like that. I I know that other leftists is say we shouldn't bash the liberals so, uh, so much. Can I at least bash the Democrats? Especially when they're so uh, they're like almost in line with the Thuggleton party on like issues like uh, policing and borders enforcement and economics. They're just nicer about it. They're just more presidential as well too. Um, so yeah, the part of like, I'm doing all right, but I'm also reading this document and this part of this document too. But yeah, it's, and like, um, but Rob, the reason why uh, the Democrats are not friendlier to like immigrants trying or asylum seekers trying to get into the country, uh, and they're so hard on the borders, is because the majority of Americans don't fucking care about the immigrants uh, coming to America or asylum seekers or their plight on the migrants or anything like that. They don't fucking care, because most of them don't know someone that's an immigrant to this country. Most of them haven't met them or bother to like ask them if their people are they probably do know some people that have immigrated to this country democrats have been like criticized i don't see any problems with being like a negative about like right wing policies that them use hopefully the, the hopefully liberals agree with that statement though mcdonald <laughs> Uh, some liberals do. Some liberals wish that, like, uh, the Democrats were nicer on the border immigration issue. Some liberals do recognize that, like, uh, the Democrats are almost like almost like the Republican parties in, in, at least in terms of policy on the border and stuff like that. Uh, some liberals are disappointed in the Democrats uh, for that sort of thing, too. And here's the thing. I'm not disappointed in the Democrats because, like, I didn't expect them to be better than the border or other issues as well, too. Because uh, for many reasons. Again, I just finished reading uh, a list and liberal by Thomas Frank. Oh my god, that was an indictment on like um Democrat Party. It's all making a noise about the Democrats like uh lurching right work is what has partially saved the election. Uh, Harris open bond and balls over like Shapiro. Yes. Um you mean uh Walls uh, oh yeah yeah you mean yeah I forgot the other Shapiro that was like oh my god they did dodge the bones with like that the the fact having Wallace is a running mate as opposed to like Shapiro. A guy who has like hide the fact that he killed someone or something like that, or how uh, covered up a murder or somehow. Uh, I don't remember the exact details of that, but like oh god, that guy has skeletons in the closet. 
uh, for sure. At least with 10 balls, he just like seems like a good dude and uh, doing that sort of thing to uh, yeah, yeah, that's just like it's too many. It, 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 when like, the one superior I know is like a terrible person that can that like things like like a wet vagina is like a health condition because his 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 wife is a doctor. I have to remember it's like oh wait there are other people with uh, that last name. I mean that fortunately have the last name share the last name the last name with like Ben who just like really creates attention. Oh my god, it's already 50 minutes in, and like in 10 minutes, I'm gonna have to like take an ad break on like uh, Twitch, and I haven't even like a, I haven't even finished wearing the first sentence, the first paragraph. <sighs> this is gonna be a long slog, but at least I have like plenty of time because, uh, yeah, so it, it, FYI, if you don't know, the reason why I'm starting to stream earlier and like usual, um, I probably would have started streaming at this time, um, because like 11 a.m. is about the time like I'd wake up, but like wake up earlier this morning, actually around. Actually, about 7 a.m. Not like 6 a.m., but 7 a.m. Because of uh, C-Shot's uh, Patreon hangout was like this morning. It was a good one, honestly. It didn't get too much into like politics. We'll do and able to talk about like random other stuff too. It, it kind of did, but like it was fine. Uh, yeah, but like no social justice alchemy tomorrow. Normally at this time, I would be doing social justice alchemy. No, but John Brockman um, lives in South Carolina, and that place got hit by the hurricane hard. At least hard enough that, like, they lost power. Um, uh, so hopefully John Brockman's all right as well, too. Um, I think he is, because he texted there's no such as alchemy tomorrow, because of that sort of thing, too. And, like, um, but yeah, that's all I know such as alchemy tomorrow, because, like, uh, Mother Nature decided no. But anyway... Uh, let me read this final part. Uh, through it all, the United States is, um, um, must continue to be the beacon of hope and opportunity. Uh, we're, uh, we are? Which is why people are fucking coming here! They want a better life! They're escaping, like, violence in their country. Probably violence in the country because we destabilized this country. And yet Kamara has, like, two years ago, I forgot how long ago, said to, uh, like, Guatemala, like, uh, refugees, saying, Don't come! So much for being the beacon of, like, open opportunity, and yet you're telling people don't come. It's on video. I have heard for that. Um, okay, let me read this uh, paragraph. And, like, yeah, exactly, the city. So much for the American dream. Let me read this paragraph and then take a, a break uh, and make more tea. Um, on the first day of, in office, President Biden and Seth Congress uh, uh, legislation to secure our borders and fix our immigration system, provide a pathway to citizenship for dreamers and others. Uh, this past year, the president has like worked across the aisle. Uh, uh, yes, you see, work across the aisle, uh, negotiate a bipartisan deal again, which is why it concerns me whenever there's like bipartisanship or reaching across the aisle because like the other party are fascists. So you're doing a bipartisan deal with fascists, or at least people who are sympathizing to a fascism, honestly. Um, and you're if you're trying to reach across the aisle and do a bipartisan deal, you're working with fascists. So that's why I'm always concerned when there if there's a bipartisan deal. Um, and so the president worked across the aisle uh, to, and negotiate a bipartisan deal that like includes the strongest, like and fairest, like a set of reforms to secure our borders in decades. I'm not sure about that. You should make it super easy to come into this country, honestly. And if like the and if like the uh, courts uh, that like are doing this like immigration process uh, are like understaffed and underfunded, fund it more and also get more people to like us. And also, not everyone is coming through the border, south of the border, speak Spanish. So make sure there are translators, and interpreters that can fluently speak other other languages not just like spanish creole for the haitian immigrants and then know that like there are many indigenous cultures that like uh, are south of the border as well as like in this country as well too that had to speak their own language too so make sure er, that someone again, like knows that like that person speaking supplotech and not spanish so that's a whole crisis as well too uh, I'll finish this last part and take a break. It would uh, have made our like our country safer and made our borders more secure while treating people fairly, and humanely, and expanding legal immigration and consensus uh, with our valley destination. Really, there are people still in cages, treated fairly, and humanely. There are people still in cages. Not that long ago, like a few months ago, there was a woman who climbing up the ladder to 
And to get over the barrier, the wall's still there. It's still being built. It's now just called a barrier instead. And a woman and trying to get into the country fell down off the ladder. On the ground, she survived the fall, but in pain and like rivaling in agony. And the border control agents were just standing right over there and refused to help her. And James Stout of like it can happen here podcast said it correctly. That that's how fascism works. That's how fascism starts. People seeing a, a incredibly horrific act in front of them and show no compassion for the person that's suffering and offers no help. When you dehumanizing people so much that they don't help someone in need, that's how fascism starts. And that's why there's no I. That's why I'm sorry to like liberals and to gear and stuff like that. I don't have hope for this country, even if the Democrats win. The Democrats will lose, like slow the decline, but the Democrats are still authoritarian. So there's like so facets of this like uh, country that it's still very authoritarian. And the only like the concern is like is a fascist going to like take control of this authoritarian country, or is like a democrat or liberal going to take over this like authoritarian country? So I'm sorry, that's a downer note to like going to break on, uh, but that's why I I'm, I'm but I'm a narco syndicalist. I have high fucking standards. And the Democrats are not going. Uh, Democrats currently, as a party as it is right now, currently I'm not going to live up to it. And a lot of liberals are just fine with that. Some of them are disappointed. Hi, Grippy Bun. I'm about to, to take a self care break. That's ask going to start running on my Twitch channel. Um, but we'll be back like shortly after I make some tea. Uh, but like, yeah, I don't have. Like, hey, the, the liberals like to still believe that they can save this country, and some of them believe that they can. They honestly believe they can save this country just by voting blue no matter who, and make sure everyone votes blue and votes blue hard in each and every time. And I understand why it's important to vote blue to like make sure a fascist doesn't take in a, a, a positions of power, not just in the, the presidential elections, but on all other elections. I just don't have the hopes at all that the Democrats will or have the tools to be able to fight fascism. So Democrats are better than like uh, Republicans, but as you say, they're, they're still suspiciously the same fascists like dissent and then and the rise and the capitalism to gain into it. So I'm voting for third parties as much as I can. And honestly, I grab a bun. I'm not going to like shame you for doing that either. I also won't shame people for like not voting. It's because like. I honestly do think of, like, a, a kind of asshole, what's the point of voting? I do see arguments to vote. I'm not super, like, anti-electoralism, too. Um, I kind of, like, a, a say that way as well, too. I'm probably going to vote third party because my vote in Washington State for the president is not going to matter in general election. Not really. I haven't, like, see what the numbers are in, like, uh, 538 for, like, Washington State. But if it's, like, 20, it, it's only within 10 points from, uh, between Kamala Harris and, like, uh, Trump, then, like, uh, no, I'll consider it. Uh, just one, uh, our votes in actual count. Exactly. Fascism, of course, isn't fixed. It comes in, like, many colors and positions. However, there are people on the left in the Dems, and uh, whereas the Republicans are forward to the right. Yeah, I, no, no, I agree that there's some, like, progressives in the Democratic Party. I just wish they had, like, more influence and power in, like, um... Uh, in the party, and then they do, uh, because the, uh, because like Corey Bush and like Jamel Bowman, uh, lost their like, uh, primaries. So they were still in Congress now, but they're not even on the ballot in general for their districts. It's going to be like, uh, a Democrat that plays ball with like Israel and the APAC, and then whatever, whoever's running against them in those races. So it's fortunately, yeah, if you criticize that Israel too much, you're, you're out. Anyway. Alrighty then, send it back down, trash back over. Sorry for like taking a bit longer than usual. I did like um um I did want to like um get the keys and like that. Uh, oh, and of course, it's like they're all have also people in the party for too like in place into like manage the nation like for too like right brain for too like eager to adopt a Republican party so whatever they can. So it's it's complicated. Yeah, it is. It, Again, like I read in like a Thomas Frank, listen, liberal is that, um, 
and they're still stuck on like the third wave and that sort of thing being triangulated they'd much rather like earn votes from like m moderate like white suburbanites like and try to pull them away from like the fucking party as opposed to just like excite their base of the left as well too but that's because like they, they if they like do what the all the leftists want of like fifteen dollar minimum wage and like um Medicare for all and all these other kind of like uh, or basic uh, the basic services of like free housing and everything like that, um their donor class would not like uh, like that, and the, because the Democrats draw from a similar pool of like Wall Street. And like other donors that like uh the Republicans got. Republicans they I mean the the Democrats still get like money from the fossil fuel industry, even though the fossil fuel industries are directly causing climate change. Um anyway, and like and it, you know, Red Bull is kinda like interesting. It, it, it Grandpa Bowen talks about like Red Bull. Maybe it's at least like the potency of the like the king caffeine ingredients, even though it has doesn't have the most caffeine. But it's like it's strange how like that like on that like uh, arrangement of those kind of like ingredients for like energy and that sort of thing in Red Bull kind of like works for some people. For some people, they don't, they rarely drink energy drinks, but they decide to do like they always go for Red Bull because it's kind of like is best for what they claim to be of or that kind of like energy. And I can understand how like people, but some of my friends like Nas and Echo and Linguin can sometimes like drink like an energy drink and as a as sort of like a pain relief, it kind of actually kind of works in that way for the chronic pains. Doesn't like work as well as painkillers or a pain relievers or something like that but sometimes again it might actually work too and given energy when they get the fatigue from the chronic pain too so there's maybe something to that as well too uh but the flavor of red bull is it, it's like a white that it shows that flavor of red bull original red bull i should say and they don't chose a yummy flavor for red bull is that for like more of like menacingly cough syrup kind of flavor? I don't know how to describe the original flavor of Red Bull. It's just like the flavor of energy drinks as well too. And yet the that the, the original flavor has sugar in it. Why do you have sugar in like a, something like a Red Bull and it tastes like that? Rockstar, Monster, Wired. I don't know if Wired came became came before Red Bull or something like that. But those kind of like uh energy drinks, the generic energy drink flavor is like so baffling to me. When they have like actually distinct flavors of like pineapple or cherry or blueberry or blue raspberry and something like that, that those are actually like distinct flavors and enjoyable. And of course gamers slips with like dragon fruit punch and that sort of thing too. Oh, oh wait, but I shouldn't show off like that generic in the gamer slips. I should show off the like alternative art one with like a uh, sexy dragon woman on it. Anyway, um, back to like the reading document of like uh, the Democratic uh, Party platform in the like, chapter seven, we're just securing our borders and fixing the broken immigration system. America. Because like I, I, I am going to try to read a lot of this. I don't know when I'm just going to finally tap out and set. I'm done. I'm tired of reading this. I'm going to like game do like Skyrim because also I, it's like it's towards the end of September. There's only like five weeks until the elections. I kind of want to like be able to finish this as well as like also like upload parts of this uh onto my YouTube channel in like individual videos, um, and uh be able to like um. Hey, put it up on YouTube so there'd be like more content of me reading that, but like also cut into bite sized chunks, like me just reading individual sections. I don't think entry drinks, hey, I don't drink entry drinks, so I wouldn't know, but I usually find more flavors and like uh, try hey, and add the, the, those drinks hey, that are worse that they end up like tasting. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, but not say own. Also, I'm okay when you. I, actually, I don't know. You had those in the UK, but like you're in like 7 Elevens. One thing, which is a gold shock to anyone outside the United States, where at 7 Eleven you can get like a 64 ounce double gulp. The big gulp is like 32 ounces, and there's a super big gulp of 44 ounces, and there's a double gulp of 64 ounces. So the sizes of our beverage containers are like one thing. Um, 20 ounces seems small. Uh, no, that's actually literally small. Uh, but like, uh, it also is I there's a fountain drinks where you can just pick many flavors. I'm the one that mixes all those flavors. Um, anyways, Kirok, why does it matter if I'm voting for Harris? I live in the blue state of Washington State. Uh, hold on, I need even like check this. I'm gonna just like check this right now. Uh, the polls are just polls, and like many people go with like, um, 
uh, whatever polls that they like or something like that. But I want to see Washington State. Um, yeah, right now, Washington State is at like uh, 21 points for Harris, 53% for like Harris, but only 32% um, for Trump. Um, yeah, and like 22 points for like uh, uh, Santa uh, uh, Maria Campbell. Yeah, she's probably going to just be reelected as well, too. Um, and Ferguson over like um, Dave Riker. Okay, God, Dave Riker. I, 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 I hate him. It's just like, yeah, he when they found the Green Bird Killer and something like that, but like his policies. Um, it's um, yeah, because like honestly, Gary, like, I'm thinking I'm voting for a socialist. Whoever is the socialist on the Democratic ticket. Uh, because, like, even though it's, like, for someone who is in a battleground state, like Wisconsin, or any state that's contestable, uh, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, maybe even Florida, depending on the points in the uh, polls, um, uh, Arizona, pro even Colorado, maybe? Uh, any, any state that's close is, like, quasi contestable. Uh, they would have to like vote for Harris. It is because that's how the electoral college work. It's more important in the vote is more important in like it's a few states than it is in other states. And like some people who, who vote in like Wyoming, for example, it votes like as if there are seven people as compared to like someone who votes in California, for example. But the electoral college is is what benefits like minority like uh, candidates as well too, and and it was kind of like a compromise for like uh, slave colonies to be still slave colonies I think, so it's kind of like it's white supremacy and racism all the way down with like the United States of America, also like the Senate is as it is with like two senators from each like state despite like Congress being proportional, or close to proportional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably am going to vote for the like, uh, socialists as well too. I don't know if I want to vote for uh, Jill Sign the Green Party. Honestly, the Green, uh, I don't know. The Green Party seems in the USA, I should say, the Green Party has like many different like uh, political parties and like other countries, and they they are doing something, and at least they can do something and get like uh, parliamentary members in like the UK and other places as well too. But the Green Party in the USA, it, I don't know, maybe they do get like some people like uh, elected in like other like constituencies as well too. But it seems, and now Joe Sign said that like they have to run for the president of the United States each and every like uh, time, or at least run a candidate as well too, or else they won't get like their name some ballots in like uh, other states or leave for a local election so if that's true then it's just like then the the whole voting election system in the united states of america is kind of rigged towards the duopoly of the two-party system and in some ways the two-party system has to like happen in that way because of how um how large the country is in some way but also because of like the first pass post of win take all system which is what the founding fathers wanted and also remember how it found in, how you have to put up your own money in order to run an election. So ensure that only the rich can like be the politicians, because the the founding fathers were all rich and they wanted to, like the other rich people to be able to like run the country. Um, I forget the name of the person who said this, but he's basically the founding father that founded what is now the Supreme Court or the court system as it is. And he said those who own the country should run it. Yeah, for me, it's a pragmatic decision. One for Harris, one of Harris that is, and the Dems or Trump and the uh, uh, Republicans and will have the White House in uh, 2025. Which one would you rather it be? Not a fair choice, but like one we have. Yeah, I know. And, and when again, like when it was Biden versus Trump, then like uh, young voters were saying like that's not a democracy. That's a hostage situation. We had to vote for Biden in order to keep Trump out. Um, you can say the same thing with like, Harris, especially in, like on the. Uh, Israel. The, the, Kamala Harris and the Democrats are not for an armament bill going against Israel, despite the fact that Israel has just, like, blew up, like, cell phones and pagers in, like, Lebanon, trying to, like, kill Hezbollah. And they're going to just, like, kill a bunch of Lebanese people. Oh, uh, I bet they're going to use the same rhetoric that they did with, like, Hamas, killing Palestinian people, because, like, they are ser they're seriously our Zionists. Uh, Sign and the Greens are a bit like rubbish too. Couldn't like do a lot uh, between elections and do uh, things for like left wing causes and uh, 
and then they do for instance, like, yeah, that's from, from what I can tell. Yeah, exactly. And also, Jill Stein's not willing to, like, call Putin, or it had, Jill Stein has a really hard time calling Putin a war criminal. Has no problem calling, like, Kamala Harris or Bi uh, Joe Biden or, like, uh, Donald Trump or, like, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, who were war criminals, but has, the, she did struggle with calling Putin a war criminal. So that's one issue I have with Jill Stein, I should say. I know that, like, other leftists have, don't have a problem with Jill Stein as well, too. But I have, like, a few, a few issues with Jill Stein. But anyway, I guess no one is perfect. Uh, anyways, yeah. They're continuing this, like, uh, document. Uh, Congress failed to act because, like, Republicans, Thuggleclims, uh, led by Donald Trump, the fascist, uh, would rather, like, play politics than, like, solve problems. Uh, Trump's plan for a second term and will they devastate our economy and tear our families apart. Well, p families are being told apart right now. That, that still is not happening. It's just like the family separation was not being filmed uh, once Biden came into office and then, like, Trump. It wasn't so egregious that, like, right at the border, separating the children from parents and, like, tearing the children out of the arms of parents as like that was happening under Trump. So the worst of the immigration in system was not happening under Biden, but Pam, the families were still being separated. Or maybe the families back together are, are not being separated, but are still in cages. Um... And so even though, like, yeah, Trump will tear families apart, but Biden is still tearing families apart and still is doing that. Continue on. Uh, Trump has said that if elected, he will move to, like, immediately deport millions of undocumented immigrants, including those who, like, live and contribute to this country for years. And Obama was also the supporter in chief. And Biden deported more people uh, when he was in office than, like, Trump ever has. Um, but let's continue. I'm, yes, I know that like Trump will be worse, but Biden is still terrible, and Harris will still be terrible too. Uh, continue on. He and his allies have like uh, also promised to end birthright citizenship for like uh, children of undocumented individuals, ignoring the Constitution, and Supreme Court's precedent, and that bars undocumented children from like public schools, and once again separated children from their families. Trump's plans are out of line with American values, and congressional Republicans are currently blocking President Biden's bipartisan border uh, security proposal because they lack the courage to stand up to Trump. Uh, it can still concerns me that like the that the border policy is bipartisan still because they still the the Democrats have to work with the Republican Party in order to like get that like passed. And granted, like uh, once like uh, Trump didn't like it as well too, he was like they told like his loyalists in the party to like not vote for it as well too because they didn't. I think. It's kind of like with the thing where they didn't want to actually solve the like immigration issue because they still want that to be wedged to. So. Uh, there are some people of like the party that kind of like didn't like that they actually ended Roe versus way because they still loved using that as a wedge issue to get people to vote for their sides. Um, the Democrats loved having like the abortion issue be a wedge issue, something like that, so they can get people to like vote for them, which has worked honestly. I just wish they actually would codify like uh, abortion rights as well too, because they had plenty of time to do so, but like are unwilling to do so. Again, I'm so frustrated with the Democrats because like even when they have the power to like do things as well too, they don't want to. Again, pointing back to like student loans, I will never forget. Biden saying that he will not forgive up to fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt. He only did like ten thousand for uh, most people and twenty thousand for some people. And yet liberals are saying that like, oh, that's a step. It's about debt. Okay, we're going to get more. They were saying that we're going. They were saying that we should just like accept crumbs. Then, which is always my frustration with liberals. Yeah, regardless of what this, this says, we're lucky to see 20% of the policies pass if she gets listed. And I, I yeah, I, I, but even even with these policies, they're still not like, I have high standards, I'm not cynicalist. Uh, I want fucking like communism, honestly. And I know that Democrats are not for that because like Nancy Pelosi said, we are capitalists. That's just how it is. And it's in like i said from like finished reading like uh thomas frank's like book listen liberal the democrats are not going to do anything about inequality they accept it as inequality is a thing they accepted poverty is a thing they accepted the poor people is a thing they just like i ideologically believe that like it's a individual failing on a person liberty and liberalism individuality and the, and that like the poor people are just lazy or just too stupid or just like didn't go to college and should like and should would be like poor and like a failing something like that despite like they despite a completely ignoring systematic systems well too 
Oh, and even and people will say, "Oh, but the the Republicans sort of like hold their hands back. The Republicans are going to hold them back. The Republicans are going to do this thing. This, the, yeah, the fascist party will do that as well too." But even in blue states where Democrats do not have like the big opposition from the Republicans in those states, they still like enact neoliberalism policies. They still enact those sort of things. That Thomas Frank points an example in his book *Listen to Liberal* to Massachusetts, for example, because in like. In because Boston is like a haven of like many different things, the liberal dreams that they wanted to, with so much like it's in it, they have innovation centers, but yet you travel outside of Boston to so many. Like, I had like allowed that as well, too. Um, yeah, hey, you are a Marxist Leninist, uh, not just like eh, not indignant, so fuck it. these policies are mid as fuck. Okay, that's fair, yeah, yeah. I'm an anarcho syndicalist, so but at least you're not indignant, and yes, fuck China, honestly. Um, We'll we'll quibble about like uh whether or not socialists should like uh take control of the state to like bring about like socialism or if like we should abandon the state and like uh bring about socialism or create a new state and, and or dismantle the current one and create a new state and then bring about socialism. We we'll have we'll have polite conversations about that. Um yeah, that's why like the world's so hot for me. I'm just lazy. It has nothing to do with all the way I think or the like, way I do things, etc. Exactly, uh Lucidia. Uh, but anyway, um, okay, well, hey, so let me continue on with the document. Uh, Biden, uh, President Biden had, like, led, uh, um, hemispheric, uh, response to the challenges in, uh, like, irregular migration. What the hell is irregular migration? Irregular migration? So the migrants are on their periods or something like that? That's a bad joke. Um, response to the challenges of irregular migration launching and leading to the Los Angeles uh, Declaration of Migration and Protection with 20 countries to increase enforcement uh, enforcement uh, and expand legal pathways to like a citizenship and stabilize and integrate migrants into like neighborhoods and country. I was kind of worried about that because like if I Lynn Wu is probably not here. Uh, she's a friend of mine. He also streams on Twitch. Um, or used now she used to stream on Twitch doesn't anymore. But there's a lot of practice on like Sundays, uh, like um, helping in unhoused folks, as far as I remember. Or right, and probably she's still doing that regularly each Sunday as well too. But she lives in the Los Angeles area. I can definitely tell uh, for sure. Uh, like how terrible like Los Angeles is for like uh, homeless people or unhoused folks. Uh, because that's a practice that like she works uh does a lot and it works for. And yeah, it's like. Hey, so I'm, I'm wondering how, like, uh, Los Angeles is about, like, um, uh, immigration and that sort of thing, too. Now, if we can make it so... It, it, okay, well, let me say my policies of, like, or what I like to see in terms of policy about borders. One thing, no borders. Just get rid of borders, honestly. They're just lines in the sand drawn, and borders are just violent, so that sort of thing, too. It, to go into detail about this thing and why borders are violent would just take a whole other stream of itself. I'll probably try to find uh, like other things that like are talk about borders and talk about immigration as well too. Uh, but think about the the indigenous people that have been on Turtle Island. Uh, like several like indigenous peoples like have they had the border cross them uh, south of the border and north of the at the south border and the north border as well too. Um, Mohawks have been split and uh, some in uh, live in Canada, some live in the United States. And one thing is that like if you're like a one thing if you're a national recognized like uh tribe in like united states um which is this whole thing as well too as some tribes are not nationally recognized and that's the issue but when you are in you know, like you're say like kota or Potawatoma, or trying to think of others that like across the border as well to, or, or mohawk perry micmac uh, no i think micmac is only uh in like one section of like prince edward island or newfoundland or that sort of kind of area um you can choose to be like uh, American citizen as well and vote in like American elections and some like uh, indigenous people of those like particular tribes do kind of like register to be like an American citizen if they're allowed to vote and th th we're not like taking off the rolls because they're indigenous which can happen this arrangement absolutely can happen and thank the Supreme Court decision that likes kind of uh, allowed that to happen in one case. Um, 
they, but like some of the indigenous people do decide to like vote because of the unfortunately because of the power the United States have over all new countries. Uh, uh, Owen can like speak to like the UK and like the city can speak to Canada of how much influence uh, that like United States policy has like on the rest of the world, uh, like for the UK or Europe and stuff like that. Um, uh, Ukraine. Whether or not like we're going to back her crane enough, we'll rely heavily on whether who's is in the White House as well too. Um, because yeah, Trump will like not support Ukraine at all, and it's it's it's, it's yeah, it's on leftist kind of like uh, quibble about Ukraine and like don't want to support Ukraine a lot. I say some leftists, not saying all, uh, but like and I understand. I understand there's some issues with Ukraine as well too, but right now it's like they've been invaded by like Russia. I just like I'm, I'm I'm if I have to pick a side, I'm gonna like say let's support Ukraine. Honestly, the way things are going in the UK will end up being like the 51st state. <laughs> oh, really? So the UK is gonna be 51st state before Canada? Let's see. How do you feel about that? U.S. Should, uh, politics should not in any way have as much much influence on the politics of the rest of the world as it does. Because, my God. I agree, Lucidia. I agree. It's not... I don't think it's fair to the United States of America whoever is the leader of the United States of America becomes the leader of the free world. Um... Because, yeah, like I mentioned on Steve Size Patreon Hangout this morning, uh, right now we're in the middle, at least in the United States of America, we're in the middle of uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, National Hispanic Heritage Month, which takes place between like September 15th and October 15th. And like I said, I kind of thought, oh, I guess they went with a different calendar as well, too, for that one month. Now, it was started, it started as National Heritage, like, week. Um, and sorry, on September 15th, it went through that week. Because a lot of like uh, countries like Mexico had their independence from like, Spain in uh, on or around September 15th as well, too. Actually, a lot of countries did have, like, they all collectively they rose up and had independence from, like, Spain and on uh, that day. That was a busy, like, uh, week for Spain. Uh, and started colonialists as well, too. Um yeah, but so many, yeah, but a lot, a lot of countries that did kind of like fought for their independence, like uh, starting in like the week of like uh, September fifteenth and onward, uh, were all countries that like the United States of America also could Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, uh, or e either we coup that country like we did for sure for Guatemala, uh, nineteen fifty four, which is where the name Banana Republic, the term Banana Republic comes from. Or we backed other coups, coups in those countries. We definitely destabilized Honduras and El Salvador as well too. I definitely Nicaragua we've meddled with a lot uh, as well too, um, but uh, uh, but yeah, the uh, uh, but that's why a lot of people like from Guatemala are coming to United States of America. Yet, like Kamala Harris said, don't come. So yeah, uh, but uh, I haven't. One thing, don't borders, and if we're going to have, like, a checkpoint at something, it's like, hey, don't forget, yeah, Panama, we did interfere with Panama, you're right, at April Fan Hands, we, in 1941, we interfered, oh, even before 1941 with Panama, we interfered with Panama a lot, oh my god, we shit on that country in order to create the Panama Canal, honestly, my god, do we just, like, bulldoze that canal in the forces well too oh just like that was that the theodore roosevelt that did that well too let I me mean, look what happened in san juan hills we kind of we we just did a solid colonialism and just conquered that country honestly or that the, that area of the, of the world hmm and sometimes we continue to like start a colonialism after like uh the other people like left like i think the philippines after Spain left, uh, like we kind of like still conquered that place again. I think that's just where the same one hills are. But yeah, um, but if we're going to have like borders and have checkpoints, it's easy. Oh, hello, who, who are you? Okay, uh, and, and have it super easy where also there's plenty of Spanish translators, uh, Creole translators, and like indigenous translators for other languages, like for example, Zapotec. Uh, oh, uh, okay, you're here. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, okay, um. That may be just like any prior for convictions as well too, which I'm not gonna say it's instantly gonna bar someone from coming in as well too, because if it's just like pulling a tag off of like a mattress or a pillow, or just like a tree walking or just like a traffic infraction, and or even like petty possession, so I'm not gonna really a uh, bar people from it. Um, but it's just like I'm willing to welcome them all. 
even if they did a lie, it's like, oh yeah, I'm a murderer, but I'm not going to tell you that because, like, if like I tell you that I'm a murderer, you're, you're not going to like let me in. And but any absolutely anyone that says I'm fear for my life of going back or staying in my country, so like, welcome them in. And like, if like they we don't have enough services, like, like uh, transition places for people to stay or people to like, go to as well too, or you don't have like enough staff to like uh, process like uh, immigration as well too. Okay, get more facilities, get more people, get more compassionate people as well to do a lot of social work in order to like provide for like uh, people coming to this country. Because guess what? It's a benefit to the economy when you got like a lot of people immigrating to the economy. Um. Yeah, happy that uh, like Odyssey assassin like removed Lenin and shit. Fucking Lenin. I mean, I wasn't gonna like mention. It. I mean, I have my issues with like Lenin, and so and I'm an narco cynical, so it's like uh, the my opinions on the state as well as like the world. From what I can tell, of the world that Marxist Leninists want, but like not every group is a monolith. So too, like I. Not every anarchist like reads me on many different things too. Um, I have changed my mind on some things over the years. It's just like yeah, so I don't know. It's just like I'm not super hostile. I used to be super hostile to Marxist Leninists as well too. Honestly, I will say that uh, I'm not super hostile now. It's tankies that are like and or anyone that just deny genocides. That's what I'll say that. I'll think people who deny genocides I'm, are the people that I have issues with as well too. Anyway, continue on. Um, like, I want to just, like, welcome people and make it super easy to become an American citizen and start working, get a green card, get driver's license, like, uh, get set up so they can, like, start, like, uh, especially since they want to work, yeah, get, uh, work and pay them fair wages as well, too, if, uh, same wishes as everyone else. Anyway, continue on. Uh, President Biden has, like, taken decisive actions to secure our borders through executive actions that has, like, significantly restricted eligibility for asylum and this is this yeah <laughs> yeah jackass karen rollins denying genocide as well too well i'm referring to in the city specifically to there's some people that say stalin did nothing wrong it's like no stalin did some terrible things it, the holy door work did actually happen stalin did like purposely did do things that led to a lot, a lot of people starving and that sort of thing too um i I'm, I'm listen i agree with mel's sentiment on landlords i'm not saying i agree with his actions on landlords um and Mao's an interesting guy too that I would actually want to read his like stuff. I haven't heard much of like what he did. Stalin? Oh, he starved a bunch of people, that's one thing. And I'm not I'm not in favor of the gulags either, too. And uh, I think the Bolsheviks did actually like jail other like a uh, political dissidents. So I still I have some issues with Lenin and the Bolsheviks in like after the October Le Revolution about jailing like anarchists. So in like at least one book or at least a couple books that I have like read or like listened to other versions of, um like from anarchists that were there and they're like um uh, um on the field uh. Uh, first hand accounts of uh, their actions. They wrote uh, diaries, both Emma Goldman of uh, her two books, uh, My Disillusionment with Russia and My Further Disillusionment with Russia, and Alexander Bookman's of like the Bolshevik myth as well, too. So I, the, I kind of like go with that on like the conditions of like, um, and so now it has like invaded uh, Tibet, so he's like not perfect as like left this example. Yeah, I, honestly, I think. I know there's disagreements about this, even from some anarchists, but I think um, it's not, I think it's like, it's a, I say it's terrible practice to try to like bring about revolution, bring about, bring about socialists and communism through war or warfare, I should say. I, it, because I think for examples of how of now is that like that's why the state doesn't with their way you can say that like those states are trying to defend themselves from like global capitalism and i can understand that's argument small too but like uh, states are bad in my opinion the ussr is an example of why communism and socialism must be a global movement as the like, revolutionaries originally want i agree on oh my god yeah yeah <clears throat> And also, well, Stalin also uh, did not back the Spanish anarchists in the Catalonia in nineteen uh, in nineteen thirty eight, nineteen thirty nine too, which is why that revolution kind of like faltered. So yeah. Mm. Um, Kirok 2011 believes uh, able-bodied people should get off their like lazy asses and work to support themselves. I'm sorry, we don't see eye to eye here. Yep, and if you can't understand me, Kirok, how we don't see eye to eye in that one thing, what the hell is lazy? Lazy is an ableist myth. So if you don't see eye to eye to that, I'm like, I'm fine with that. 
uh, it is worth noting that like many policies the U.S. are passed like closer to the communist division were uh, were successes and lifted Russia like years uh, above the dismal society the Tsars uh, presided over. And of course, the shift in the capitals and completely destroyed the nation. The capitals like uh, loaded the state and plunged the millions into poverty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. The reforms that the USSR did in, like, uh, in the final years as, if, as, as well is not terrible. And you're right, there was a lot, uh, to be fair or to, like, uh, the Bolsheviks as well, too. They did, like, with their style of socialism, they did lift, uh, like, Russia out of, like, a, a being, from being a backwards, like, uh, uh, country into being, like, a, a powerhouse that they were. Hell, the only first in space race that the USA got was, like, the first on moon. Everything else uh, was first by like the cosmonauts by like the Soviet Union as well too oh the greatest accomplishment of like the Soviet Union space program is the force of the USA to be first to the moon so definitely you will agree there again I have my issues with gulags and like force working that's the way too but like um eh, and so it's definitely of like their their execution of things, I would definitely have my disagreements on as well, too. It's that the disagreements with, like, the Democrats on their execution of things, even if some things that I may agree with them on. Um, but they did, like, I will, like, note their accomplishments. Anyway, thank you for the follow, like, see you in hours. And, ah, hello there, what that anarchist symbol is that? Nice, awesome. And sometimes when I'm like at new followers, it's like I'm, I'm unless there's something uh, suspicious about that, like names or something like that. Uh, I can't think I there's some like when I do political streams, definitely in the past and like four years ago, I was like, oh, I'm not going to read out that name because, oh, my God, that's just like that's. That's a personal attack on against Biden. I don't love Biden. I know I'll kind of criticize Biden a lot, but like I just like, yeah, I got some interesting people to come uh, and then like a horde of people goes in and say we never let on the moon it was like set it up the ucgi they faked the moon landing yes yes lucidia oh my god i actually do have a co-worker that thinks we never been uh, to moon um my problem is you believe that it should have resources to live well those you, so if, if you are okay with denying some people like resources to deny them be able to like, live and something like that then you are for like denying people to be able to live and that's my problem with it I don't care if like someone's lazy or not, because lazy is an ableist myth. And even if someone doesn't like contribute at all to society, I I don't care. Don't associate with that person. Freedom of association means freedom of dissociation, meaning freedom to dissociate from the lazy ass people you determine. I think Canada has some, like a nice blend of capitalism and socialism. It's not perfect, but it feels like it's right on track for me. Capitalism itself should this is just be dismantled. I'm firmly anti-capitalist, honestly. Uh, April Ryan Hunt Ryan. Uh, that's where it's like, um, yeah, the question and that and the question that is not even an answer. I don't care. No, they they, they should get the resources too. I'm not going to deny people resources to live. I'm just not. I'm not going to let people starve to death because they're lazy. Um, yeah, it, I mean, I think we can both agree that liberalism in, like, USSR and China is bad. Oh, God, they and Ch China now is just, like, not pro-worker at all, honestly. Um... And yeah, I honestly actually do actually do agree uh, uh, there that like I it's hard for me to say that it truly is a socialist uh, country like uh, now. Um, there's probably some countries that are better in some ways. And how many resources are wasted and thrown away daily because they are aren't profitable and that uh, these shouldn't then be provided to human beings just because they choose not to work. I agree, Kane. Honestly, hey, and yeah, forty percent of the food that like is produced and grown is never eaten at all; it's just thrown away. And we produce enough food by the, the agricultural industry as a whole produces enough food to feed the world 1.5 times and over. So we p grow plenty of food to feed the whole planet, but we don't because like it's not about like resources or like scarcity resources. Like the person that owned McDonald's uh, like uh, had a conversation with yesterday. Uh, oh my God! Once he said Frederick Hayek, it's like, oh my God! No wonder you have these like free market, free traded policies as well too, and believe the market is going to save everything too. Because if you listen to Frederick Hayek, 
Uh, that bastard. Uh, I guess, like, he's not the worst kind of, like, a uh, free trade, like, economist. He's also war criminal. That would go to the, the um, Milton Freeman and, like, uh, the Chicago Boys for, like, how they set up the economy in, like, Chile. That can only be set up by, like, a dictatorship like Augustus Pinochet. Um, yes, I believe in personal property, too. And no, Kirok, you do not need private property in order to get personal property. Uh, the yeah, of course you don't care, Eric, Eric as, you, as you believe others should like pay the price of people who refuse to help themselves. If I'm willing to deny someone and any help whatsoever because they refuse to help themselves, then I will be denying disabled people that sort of thing too. And that's a good, uh, uh, yeah, that's a good, good question. Uh, um. Oh yeah, yeah. That what well, uh, I'm. I haven't like. I don't know much about like the history of uh, like happening in Ukraine as well too. I know some parts of it as well too. But like, yeah, I can imagine that like uh, Stalin. Let's. I think we can all agree Stalin was a piece of shit. Honestly. Um, Yeah, it's like I can't agree with John and Johnson. I'm afraid. I think the decisions that Stalin is like Russia made it very damaging into the global communists and then human rights in general. Yeah, Stalin was a piece of shit, honestly, in my opinion. Maybe he wrote some good things as well too. But no, I he even I think even Lenin didn't want Stalin to be in charge. He warned the Vanguard Party to be in, in the charge. Of that I have my issue with Vanguardism as well too. Hmm. Um. Based on what I read from like Rudolf Walker's uh, Marx and Anarchism as well, too, that I should like upload that one to my YouTube channel. I gotta get back on this well, too. I think Russia and people should be at the center of piece of our discussions that uh, revolve around uh, atrocities and then let their like nation into one of world powers despite the hardship. Yeah, I agree. No, no, no. And and that's what some of the uh, comments that like uh. Alexander Berkman and Emma Goldman like observe is that like the people were not really taken care of like, even when the Bolsheviks like uh, took power as well too or they, or they the Bolsheviks let some people um uh let some people uh, not be uh, taken care of as well too or just fail to take care of some people as well too. Um, and that's uh, like the areas that the U.S. are most uh, closely aligned with their needs and wants are the, the things the worst that celebrating healthcare and education and, and art and sport. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I mean, USSR is interesting. I don't want to say that like everything the USSR did was bad. No, no. There's like definitely some things that like they did better, honestly. So, but which kind of like serves the argument about like socialism, even state-run socialism. I, I kind of still call. Uh, I will give them. I will give the USSR like under Lenin and uh, China on the Mao that they were attempting to bring about like communism they were attempting to bring about like socialism I, I per I'm i an anarchist so I personally quibble over like how they like uh, grow about it well too but like um and so, yeah, definitely there are some areas that they did better and uh, as opposed to the capitalist countries or the enemies I don't see how all able uh, how all able bodied people who should work is uh, all that different than all able bodied people who should serve in the armed forces. Yeah, that's a good point, Kane. Uh, for a good time, check out the Agricultural Adjustment Act uh, through which the USA reduces surplus foods by slaughtering livestock and blocking agriculture in order to maintain prices. Oh no, that happens a lot. There are farmers that have to like dump on like blueberries entire like uh, crop or harvest of like blueberries in order to, like and not because if they put them out in the market, the prices of blueberries will tank in order for the farmers to go out of business and not be able to feed themselves too. So there's many farmers that will dump like uh, the produce and harvests just so to keep the prices down. Uh, the idea that Lenin was anti Stalin is a bit wishy washy. It's contested if the letters you're referring to is to, um, it's authentic on top of the fact that, like, when it was in very poor health, pre stroke. Uh, was well, the meddling of the state officials' corruption and the human rights abuses it should be like separated from like socialist party instead of seen as criticisms of authoritarians and entrapping the state. I also think the history of the USR can't be separated from the global capitalism machine trying to like crush it and the literal fascists that they have to like, fight, which of course make them the heart of the right. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll give you that as well, too. Like, uh, on McDonald's, I, I, because listen, the USR are pretty much like won the European like a theater in World War II. They threw five million like soldiers at the like cause in order to stop the like Nazis from like evading in, and they I think they made the mistake of trying to like evade Russia in the winter. Honestly, a mistake they did not learn from Napoleon. Um, 
And I can't help but like people were dragged this extreme away from like dreams. Really it's just it, it, this is this is why. So when I'm gaming, absolutely have any of the discussions about like any kind of politics as well too. Oh, and, and, and honestly, Habas, my stream is full of cam uh, communist propaganda. It's a narco communist propaganda, but it is full of propaganda as well too. So don't feel too bad about propaganda and I'm saying on my streams as well too. But yeah, the reason why I don't have the like, AMA ask me anything tag on my reading streams is that i do want to like kind of focus on like uh reading the topic on hand too uh i but i honestly was like interested in the conversation as well too well as long as you ignore the fact someone like i like the nazis before hitler the back stuff and that's very true so i i am I, you that's a fair point to bring up because that was absolutely true uh stalin did just didn't want like the communist party of germany to like ally themselves with the liberals whatsoever in electoralism and that was about to um uh for hitler to to get it to take power the yeah, joseph stalin was one of the many bastards that allow hitler to take power not the only bastard to allow hitler to mean it get the power but yeah all right after family to ally within uh, with the entire day of europe nah, yeah mm. Again, Stalin left the like the Spanish anarchists out to dry as well too, and that's what that's when like uh, George Orwell. There's definitely criticisms to have of George Orwell as an individual. Yes, um, that's when George Orwell decided to root Animal Farm because of this criticism of Stalinism. Yeah. And actually, honestly, uh, Owen McDonald's that the kind of person that, like, if you want to talk to Owen McDonald, you can go to his, like, uh, his stream and his, like, uh, Twitter and, like, uh, find a way to contact him in DMs. And he, he'll love to uh, uh, have, have you on as well like that. Um, yeah, and that sort of thing, too. I mean, well, Kirok, uh, liberal, it's, uh, let me say this about liberalism as well, too, because liberalism takes, like, a capitalism as a given. Oh, speaking of liberals, let's continue reading about the Democratic Party's, like, platform of uh, I were for strong borders. Anyway, uh, but no, if they, Owen McDonald it will happen to talk with, like, almost anyone, too. Uh, believe me, Owen McDonald talked with a narco capitalist as well, too. That should say something. And last, yesterday, he talked to someone that, like, uh, is, a, is a true believer in capitalism, too, and free market. Anyway, um, da -da -da -da. Uh, da -da. I read this part. I I think is yeah, should, the board should be really easy to come into. Like it's just really simple as well too. Forms really easy to do, and like it's been available in Spanish as well too. And like if like there needs to be more funding for borders, not necessarily for enforcement of the borders, but also in uh, for like more judges to like go through the turn through the process of like so many things as well too to get like the old cases like read up through but like i'm fine with like welcoming in so many people i think the united states of america is big enough and we've got plenty of land and plenty of like resources plenty of houses that we can welcome in so many people and it's what like does strengthen the economy of the united states of america personally i think i mean because like immigration does nothing but good things in my opinion anyway it's just all fear mongering that the fear of the like other that like God's people to be resistant to like immigration that sort of thing too. Uh, anyway, continue on. Uh, since President Biden announced a new border restriction in, tw uh, in June 2024, the number of unlawful like crossings have like uh, fallen from 40 percent, demonstrating the new policies it works. And he has also implemented like policies that have uh, stopped record amounts of like uh, fentanyl crossing the border. I mean, the fentanyl was already here, which is the problem. And the, how the fentanyl pro uh, uh, comes into the country is not through any the illegal immigration is from people just like flying in or something like that too Trotsky is just an interesting person, I should say. Hey, I, I should know more about him, but here me is like a anarchist. We have a saying among us anarchists. You're allowed to have one Trotskyist friend. <laughs> That's been a joke. Um You can say drugs as old as come in via air and sea. Yeah, I, exactly. That came. That was my point as well too. Um, uh, because like it, it blame it all on like uh, immigrants from bringing fentanyl. So I don't think it's like really them that's doing it. Or if they do it, they probably have to like go with like a human traffickers in order to like do that. And. Uh, and, I think, and also one thing, when you're reading reports about the immigration and about the border, what's happening in the border, if you hear reports about, like, number of encounters, listen, a counter is not an individual person. A counter is just someone who has crossed the border. And one person can, like, 
attempt to cross the border multiple times. So you can have like five encounters just from one person. So encounters does not tell the whole story as well, too. Um, uh, booze I count as drugs, honestly. And no, I don't like liberals. I even though like some of my friends are liberals, and many of the people, many of my coworkers and family members are like liberals as well too. Um, it, it's like, uh, hey, I honestly, yeah, yeah. The you can say that booze is like a worse drug than like others as well too. It's like and there's can be arguments made about like a uh, booze is worse than weed. Uh, if you can balance immigration with new jobs on resource of production, then like a, a vision of like open borders can be sustainable. But you can't just like let everyone in. There will just like too many people out there. That I no, I just agree with that. I put on uh, grand. Maybe in like in too many people in like one town or one city or just in Los Angeles, for example, or any other border towns as well too. But no, I don't think there's like too. There's like it, it, that sounds a bit more kind of like a Malthusian almost almost I say almost a Malthusian argument about like um and how there's like not enough resources I disagree with that there's it, yeah like Owen McDonald's like, there's more than enough space and resources for immigration the problem is like a wealth inequality caused by like right-wing policies at the core of capitalism exactly and and even like uh, Democrats are uh, like I said uh, again reading the book uh, listen liberal by Thomas Frank the Democrats are all for inequality. They're not going to do anything about that. And it, you know, it doesn't matter if like a substance is legal or not, because weed is being legalized to it too. And it's being counted as a drunk. It's I still count as a drug. Hmm. <laughs> well, who's the Stalinist then? Uh, correct me on that. Uh, I don't know what Owen identifies as as well, too. I think Oprah Von Rand said that, like, uh, he, correct me on pronouns, too, is a dem sock. Oh, pronoun check. They, them, he, him, and they, them. Um... Yeah, but only, honestly, you, even though you haven't really like identified so much of like what your policies are, I can see you. Pre you just say you're a leftist, but to me, you're kind of like an anarchist, at least in like sane practice. All capitalism has put the U.S. in the top of like the pile, and of course, like people have moved from like poorer countries being exploited by the U.S. And again, we coo so many of like countries in South America, Nicaragua, Bolivia, uh, Chile, uh, Argentina. Either we directly coo them like in Chile, or we back the dictatorship that was happening in those countries like Argentina, um, the Salvador, Brazil. Uh, oh my God, how often? How we? How often have we like uh, meddled with like Cuba as well too? All because they were just on the wrong side of the Cold War, honestly. Um, um, yeah, drunk. Exactly. We, we shouldn't. Uh, uh, Tylenol is a drug because it affects you in the chemistry of your body. There are side effects to like uh, Tylenol. Uh, now the the side effects of Tylenol are measured. You can die from like Tylenol. It happens all the time. Some people just get like liver failure from like a uh, Tylenol. But you can measure that. No booze. How is booze not? How is alcohol not drawing? It's depressant. It changes your. The, well, Kira, there's okay. I'm gonna add that to like uh, booze is not a drug. Another statement that's like I just well, I can't it, it, fine. I, all right, then let me just put that as a one. Uh, say cannabis is legal in Canada already, and there is like a lot of like uh stores in like in my town, and it did be it did not become a uh, hellscape for of like right wingers believe it would too. Uh, medicines, drugs, and booze drugs. I agree. And, and actual immigrants are the crew who are part of the U.S. economy and contribute millions to, like, labors and hours to the U.S. and for very little pay. The economy wouldn't be, like, heavily hit if, like, they were starved. Yeah, and problems are, like, admitted, but, like, the country basically runs on the backs of the uh, people they claim are draining resources. Agreed, L. McDonald. Uh, April Fang, uh, uh says, we literally have, like, Venezuelan migrants making a uh, better living uh, here illegally. Um going to like uh, parking lots and doing like odd jobs and then their home country don't ask me to imperialism agreed oh yeah like the venezuela uh that's a whole host of bags basically the right wingers and even like liberals or democrats that like i say the problem with venezuela is this that and the other thing they're i think they're wrong on the uh, i i should like study like venezuela a bit more but i think like liberals and definitely conservatives and fascists get wrong what's wrong with venezuela and it's not because of like they're trying to do a socialism as well too. In fact, what we are really describing is capitalism. Capitalism uh, pits workers against each other with nationalism, racism, xenophobia, etc. When it is like the capitalist that causes uh, the socialist good. Agreed. That's fair. I was talking about open borders with tens of thousands of people like um, 
you could show up in a short time. Why is that, the April Fine Run? It's because uh, uh, you're in Canada, so that's a little different. But that I can speak from the USA. Again, we, we destabilized the country, the um, economies of those countries as well, too. Like when uh, Bill Clinton signed the NAFTA, uh, North American Free Trade Agreement. Because there's, there is open borders for capitalism. There's open borders for corporations. There's open borders for capital. There easily is open borders as for like corporations to just freely set up like uh, plants in like Mexico or whatever they want to be, or in like other countries, the Middle East or like um, in other places, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific like a uh, plan or whatever it was called, uh, was trying to do the NAFTA for but for the Pacific Rim, the Bring the Fire, um, and so we eat, so capital can freely freely travel across the border anytime they want but people cannot and i think and it's like unfair for capital and corporations to freely travel uh, between borders and people to not especially since like those free trade agreements from like like nafta deep, like makes it really difficult for like farmers in mexico to try to like ch uh, compete against like farmers in u.s for with corn and that sort of thing too especially when like the u.s government s heavily subsidized corn to the point that like we got high fructose corn syrup and everything because we go so much corn that might as well just find a way to put it in everything and then making ethanol and making the fuel, which is honestly just like I think it, it doesn't it's, it doesn't benefit us as well too because you're just producing it just as much fuel to like make ethanol than you would to like um burn a regular gasoline as well too. I agree, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, medicine, medication, like even Tylenol, even antihistamines, even aspirins, and even like um. Uh, acetaminophens, hispanols, um, uh, it's, um, and asthma medication as well, too, all those things. Those are all drugs. And yes, alcohol is a drug, too. Uh, Kirok, you're, you're the one person that says alcohol is not a drug. Um, if people show up, we have the resources for them. I don't think millions are going to, like, um... Uh, all appear in the city at once, but even if they did, you'd be surprised how many properties they sit down and agreed on McDonald. Uh, plus, open borders would prevent criminalization of like traveling parties, meaning they could like um, access resources legally and not fall into like a poor health. I will get, I will continue on that point, and especially since that is on topic to what I'm reading as well too. When I come back for break, because ads going to start running on my uh, Twitch channel, so every time I run ads on my Twitch channel, I take a pause. All right, we're back. Sitting back down, transfer back over. Actually, I didn't get out of my chair. I just kind of like sat in here as the ads play. Uh, was kind of like want to pay attention to the chat as well too, because like, yeah, I'm in lively chat like now, which I all welcome, even if it means that like I've been like um a bit distracted uh, uh from the, uh, the reading as well too. And oh my god, I'm only done one page and like two hours. Uh, no, I'm loving the conversation. I'm loving the conversation. Anyway, um. Oh my god, where the fuck where is I? Uh okay, yeah, I finished this like a thing as well too. Yeah, because like they mentioned fentanyl crossing the borders. Oh my god, they're just blaming the immigrants for like drug problems, which is uh, which is how like class this is the Democrats doing that. And yeah, the last is classic that's all the classic thing that Thugglesons are doing. The whole point of Virtue Nixon having like the war on drugs was just so that he can like uh arrest like uh, black and brown people and hippies. Because they were his political opponents that were most likely going to vote for the Democrats. Um, I, I really enjoyed like the stream in the chat, everyone. But I'm going to have to like go soon. I got to like uh, work for uni tomorrow as well. So yeah, see you around. Oh, it was a great conversation to have you around. Anyway, keep doing. Uh, President Biden has done all this like while ensuring that people have like I treated him meanly and with dignity. I quibble with that, but okay, we'll move on. Uh, as one of the first actions, uh, President Biden establishes the uh, like immigration like uh, task board for of uh, on the reunification of families, which uh, as of like March twenty twenty four has reunited nearly eight hundred children with their parents in the United States of America that were separated under Trump policy. I wonder where they were like the united to, were they united in homes, or were they united in the uh, jails or the internment camps uh, where the children are. 
Yeah, I remember when they like said weed was like coming across the border as I grew up in California. I rarely ever like smoked Mexican weed. Yeah, yeah, they're just they use the fear of like uh, of the of the devil's lettuce or something like that, whatever like a uh, drug that they have like demonized as well too. Not saying that like uh, fentanyl is great now or something like that, or because uh, I don't know about that drug and like I'm sure it does like horrific things to like the person's body, but so does alcohol. Honestly, with too much. Um... No, no, no. But like, uh, alcohol poison can kill you if you can die from just too much alcohol. And if you have like a, if you are suffering from alcohol poison, you got to go to the hospital because like you can die from it. It's no uh, alcohol is no joke as a, a drug as well too. You have any ideas how these things We don't need to import it. That's a fair point, Kane. Actually, I actually don't know. Uh, but like, I'm sure it is. Anyway, um. Continuing on, in President's like a, in President Biden's second turn, he will push Congress to like a legislate uh, to illustration that is consistent with our values as a nation. I that's why that's my problem. That's a fair point, Kane. It's called weed. Um, it, okay, yeah, so, yeah, so, to, to pass legislation that's consistent with our values of, as a nation, but that's my problem. I have a problem with the nation's values as it is. It's just all capitalists all the way down, and white supremacy all the way down. Continue on. Uh, legislation must secure borders, reform the asylum system. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Listen, I don't know why you need to reform the asylum system, because it's perfectly legal for people to seek asylum, and the first step is come to the place you're seeking asylum to. What's in there to reform, honestly? You can reform to make it better and easy to come in. That's it. Uh, continue on. Expand legal immigration and keep families together by supporting a pathway for like long-term undocumented individuals, improving the work authorization process, and securing the future for of the DACA programs. Also, I mean, make it super easy to get a green card and like driver's license and like uh, set up for like a home and a place to stay or like someone uh, they go to as well too, and then like start working as well too, and pair them a fair wage too. A lot of businesses and corporations and the like, just the whole industries like. The agriculture industry, as Owen McDonald mentioned, it's just like fueled off the back of like the labor of like um, migrant workers that are paid less than a dollar, or well, at least far less than like uh, someone uh, legal, um, a U.S. citizen would be paid. And that's why they have like illegal immigrants. And the thing is also like the one other thing. Remember when the Democrats were saying no kids in cages? Yeah, I remember. I remember that too. But the kids are still in cages. Honestly, they're just together with their families now. Um, but yeah, family separation can still happen because like the father gets deported while the, uh, the rest of the family are just like still sitting here waiting for their uh, their uh, uh, case to be heard and process. So yeah. Um, what was the other point I was going to mention? Um, Oh, I forgot. Anyway, um, President Biden's the second action to advance each of those goals uh, by uh, but lasting comprehensive reforms requiring like congressional answer. That that's that is the truth about like the president is that like, the president itself cannot make laws. The most it can do is like appoint people, uh, do executive uh, orders, and uh, encourage or ask for like a uh, and set policy for Congress to like do things as well too. But like uh, the president of the United States cannot actually like make laws themselves. So if the legislation is not going to pass laws and do do laws or, or pass bills for him to sign or for the person to sign the law uh, then yeah the president cannot make laws because the president doesn't make laws and those that they have is like veto power and as well as like setting uh policy for the party outro video time yes this time i'm actually making an outro video instead of just having text on here so if you like the video Press the button to give it a like. It helps out the video as well, too. And if you do like the video, that button is there, too, as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Helps the algorithm. It helps the video out of the way. Uh, you can also leave a comment if you disagree with something that I said, or you just want to say, hey, I like this video, or something like that. That will help out the video as well, too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as well, too. Um, this, yep, getting those ups and numbers up always helps as well, too. And uh, also, don't forget to share around the video, too, like always your friends uh, all your enemies on the social medias and be like hey check this out or listen to this or will you check out this person that's like, rambling about so many different things yeah that will help the video as well too and also over on the sides of my face right now or 
covering face as well too should be like the buttons for like over no no over here for like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also social justice alchemy if you haven't checked out that like uh you a channel it's a weekly uh live stream show the youtube live stream show that I, I i'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends a bunch of other anarchists and leftists and socialists to talk about like current events news uh politics feminism anarchism socialism communism and various other things even cats even like pop culture as well too and over on like the of here should be uh some videos as well too for like that i recommend you check out as well or it's over here i don't know it around my face there's should be those buttons that you can click on as well too all right thank you for watching